the station working for you. This is WRTV News at 11, streaming now. And good evening to you here at 11 o'clock. Tonight, Indianapolis City County Councilors are united in their support for a statewide ban on conversion therapy. The practice focuses on young LGBTQ people trying to change their sexual orientation, gender identity, or both. It is already banned in 20 other states. Last month, State Senator J.D. Ford and State Representative Sue Arrington announced identical bills that would ban conversion therapy for Hoosiers under the age of 18. New at 11, WRTV's Cornelius Hawker shows you why a group with personal experience is supporting the ban in Indiana. These are just a few of the countless health and professional organizations that have taken a stance against conversion therapy, saying it's dangerous and should be outlawed because of the lasting impact it has on those who survive it. That's where really depression and suicidality comes in. There's a, why the suicide rate for so many youth who go through these programs is because they blame themselves. Uh, they didn't try hard enough. They're not able to fix the problem. Matthew Sherka knows about this firsthand because from 16 to 21, he went through conversion therapy with so-called therapists telling Matthew he was gay because of this. They said it was because I was too close to my mother and my sisters being the youngest of three and not spending enough time with my dad. And this is something we hear from survivors all across Indiana and uh, the United States. Matthew tells me those in charge of his therapy practiced a lot of pseudoscience, making him do odd things that had a great impact on him. I wasn't allowed to speak to my mom and my sisters for three years. And I was instructed by the therapist to do that as a way to understand my role of male and female. While not from Indiana, his experience is similar to many Hoosiers. It's why he and the organization he co-founded, Born Perfect, is throwing their support behind a pair of identical bills put forth last month that would ban conversion therapy for Hoosiers under the age of 18. We want to make sure we can uh, bring, not put kids in harm's way. We'll often say it takes a village to raise a family or to raise a child. And it's so important that that village is supportive of the child, regardless of who they are. Indianapolis Councilor Keith Potts, along with some of his colleagues, are behind a resolution brought up during Monday night's council meeting supporting a ban on conversion therapy. It's simply a way for our council to use its voice to support legislation that protects Hoosier children. The Marion County resolution was passed unanimously. While our resolution at the council tonight is not a law, it's a, a declaration of our values, it's important that we talk more and more clearly about our values and how we think they should play out. Having that clarity makes, you know, be brought forward is I think important just as a highlight to Indiana, making sure those LGBT kids are protected. Working for you, Cordelius Hawker, WRTV. And for the conversion therapy ban to become law, the bills must first be heard by committees in the House and Senate. We will keep track and let you know what happens. Similar legislation was filed back in 2019, but it did not get a hearing.